ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got Hello everyone, Uncle Charles Wallingford back again with another product review dealing with style, fashion, and image. And today I am reviewing this suit, my new suit from jo Joseph About. It is a light gray linen suit uh, that is uh, double-breasted, double-breasted light gray linen suit. And I want to bring about some ideas on how to actually purchase these why you should purchase something like this and what should go with it when you have a suit separate off the rack you're, you're you, sometimes it has a negative connotation to it it's not necessary it's not usually a, a bad product it's just just not made for you because the other option is to have a suit made for you i cannot get a regular suit that's not that is not um a suit separate i have to buy suits that are or i have to buy suit separates because of my measurements my measurements aren't weird you're looking at me like that uh, you don't look like a weird measurement guy but it actually it gets weird because the i'll maybe i can get the actual numbers but your shoulder size is usually what it's supposed to be when you buy a suit but the shoulder size also will add to the width of the waist. The width of the waist will also be added to it. So they're, they're thinking that the person that's wearing this suit is a certain size individual. And if you get a suit too big, or the sho your shoulders are too big, and you are in good shape, it will look weird on you. So the bigger you get, the more, the, mo the likely bigger physically far as being in good shape the more you get those or the bigger you get the bigger stronger but leaner you get you're gonna have to most likely get a suit that is altered for you and i'll get to that because this suit actually was altered or you're gonna have to get the the buzzword is bespoke or a suit that's made for you but this suit wasn't made for me so i had to get it altered because it would look weird if I got the right, if, when, when you get the right size, because one of the things I'm going to talk about later is how to prop, what, it's, what a suit's supposed to look like. Well, no, let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, with this suit, I bought off, off, I bought off of the web, website. I bought off the website, bought it retail. Didn't pay retail, of course. And um, what you're getting when you buy something like this, you're, you're getting pretty good quality. You're not getting the best quality, but you're getting pretty good quality, but you're getting a size that's for a wide array of people. And because of that, and like I said, I had to get a suit separate. Because of that, I had to get it altered. So what, what did I do? I got altered the sleeves. I got the sleeves altered and I also got the buttons moved. So it fits a little bit more snug. The buttons have been moved. Anytime, again, anytime when you are in good shape, you don't have a belly, but you have some muscle bulk or tone or anything like that, you very well are gonna have to have your suit altered. I wear a 42 jacket, coat, but I wear a 32 in the waist, pants with a 32 inseam. That is not the usual measurements when you get a a suit that's already put together for you. Like you might see suits that are already put together, the pants and the jacket together. I can't do that. I absolutely can't do that. All right, so let's all go over the quality. Does, is the quality there? The quality is okay. The, the fabric is great fabric. Fabric, again, it is not necessarily made for me. I'm looking, one of the things you look at you, the buttons. The buttons are good. Uh, the buttons aren't the best. 
if once you see good buttons, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes they're either thicker, sometimes they have engraving on them. The buttons are pretty basic. The pockets, the pockets are working pockets. I actually have to work those in. They're working pockets, but you wouldn't want to, they're not, they're not the best working pockets. Um, it has pockets inside, just one pocket inside, um, and the like the fabric is good you have very good fabric i i feel really good in this i feel really nice in this and it feels very light and we'll get to that in a second again i had to have this altered with the sleeves so this very well was going to be too big in the sleeves but it's the right size in the shoulders right size in the shoulders all right let's go into how I styled it, and then lastly, we'll go into why I purchased a yet another linen suit. So the main focus when I style this is the tie. And to add a little bit to the tie, I have a collar bar on the tie, I mean, for right under the tie to add to the attention to the tie. Also to allow the tie to be the absolute main focus, I went with an all white sh shirt Full with a club, club collar. So it's a club collar with, the, with the, the collar bar, and the collar bar will bring attention to the tie, and the tie is in pink. Now, this is not all pink. It's like, almost like a pink plaid, very small pink plaid with gray. That, to me, was just enough. I don't like to wear pink too much. Pink is a little bit too dramatic. I'll put it that way. Pink can be a little bit too dramatic. I'm not against it, but I like to have a little bit of it. And because of that dramatic color, I went with rose boutonniere. The reason why I went with that color is because I didn't want it to overshadow anything, but it needed, I think it would have looked a little bit too plain. It would have been too plain not to have the boutonniere. I don't like, just my personal style, I don't like to have tie, boutonniere and pocket square. I don't like to put that those three together. I like to have either a boutonniere in a tie or a pocket square in a tie. I don't really like to have uh, the boutonniere pocket square and tie. I think that's a little bit too much. And then adding to that would be the, the, the uh, collar pin. The collar pin adds to it and I think that would just be too jumbled up. Too many ideas going all at the same time. That's why I went that way. To, to eat further that, allowing the tie to do most of the talking, because this is just a neat, warm weather outfit. I want the tie to do most of the talking. I went with a more of a plainer watch. Yes, I went with a white dial dress watch. Though this is pushing the envelope as far as dress watch, because a traditional dress watch doesn't have a steel bracelet or a metal bracelet this one, i have a metal bracelet but this is the, the seiko presage sharp edge in the white with the white dial now this is a sharp look but it it is kind of subdued it's kind of subdued why this would be the perfect the perfect outfit for very warm weather very warm weather uh, that because the light is shining bright as you see with the light shining on me right now you can't even really tell that this is gray this looks very very light gray uh, in the light in the sunlight it might even look even almost close to white but this is a very light gray and so that's why again I go back with the tie I think it's the tie might I could have gotten away with having just a brighter pinker or or a tie with less uh, texture, but more color. And I could have got away with that too. You can, you can switch this and style this the way you like it. I think, I think this, this could go with anything. It honestly could go with anything. And the last thing I didn't, didn't mention, the footwear. What, what did I choose? I chose brown monk straps, a double monk strap shoe. I show, chose a brown double monk strap shoe. I would like to have a, a two-tone shoe, actually. I would like to push it, and I also would like to have had 
a lighter color brown. I think brown is perfect. I think a lighter color brown would have been to me better. Or, or go a little bit dramatic with ox blood uh, in, in color. I think that would have been a little bit dramatic and add some uh, brightness to the situation or drama to the situation. But again, we have this pink tie. tie. I think that's enough. All right, lastly, why did I buy this? This is my second, like, as you, as you guys are watching these videos, if you're watching on a regular basis, my, my first couple hundred uh, subscribers, you're watching this, you're like, wow, the, he's back to back. Yeah, I literally bought these almost back to back. Why am I purchasing another linen suit? Well, first of all, I wanted a double-breasted suit anyway. I love a double-breasted suit. If I can, my next suit will be a black or navy blue pinstripe double-breasted suit. Oh, I love the way that looks. And if, if I am able to get that, I'll get deeper into that and explain to why I like it so much. However, I, I have a linen suit and a linen suit would be smarter for me. Here's the thing. I looked at what I had and I wanted another suit. However, I looked at the situations where I would wear a suit. Where am I wearing a suit? How often am I wearing a suit? And what is the occasion that I'm wearing a suit? A lot of times I'm wearing a suit in a celebration in warm weather. So a regular suit, a navy blue pinstripe suit isn't going to get worn as much as I want it to be worn. So I went ahead and purchased this particular suit because of the reality and the practicality of when, where, and how often I would wear a suit, any suit, especially what, what kind of material that I would choose to have. All right, that is it. That's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you liked this video. I hope this opened, you, opened your eyes and gave you some ideas on how to dress a little bit nicer, how dressing nicer can be easier, how dressing nice isn't going to be hot, so you buy a linen suit. I think that's it, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment and share. I'm Uncle Charles Wallenford. I'm just here to help.